I think the biggest thing is that these athletes get highlighted for the first time. Like they're on the field, it's all about them. It's all about, you know, what they're gonna do and how they're gonna accomplish it. And it's, you know, the focus is finally on them and they have a place to perform. The Unified Basketball League was formed at the East Hampton High School late this spring. But even with its late arrival, its popularity within the community has been nothing but net. Over three weeks, LTV spent time with the team, getting to know the athletes, partners, and coaches. And without any expectations going in, we quickly learned how incredible this team is. So tell me your name again. Dominic Cornell. Yeah? And tell me, what's your favorite part about playing basketball? Dribbling and shooting. Yeah? Did you have a lot of fun last week? Yes. Are you ready to go to practice soon? Yes. Yeah? What's your favorite part about your teammates? About the, 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 the maroon. <laughs> you like the maroon jerseys? Yes. What about coach? Coach, uh, coach Ethan Mitchell. Is he a good coach? Yes, he's a good man. Who's a better coach, Coach Bacuccio or Coach Mitchell? Yeah, coach Bacuccio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a much better basketball player than us. What do you like about our basketball partners? Our good friends too. Yeah. Do you like playing with them? Yes, I do. One, two, three, five! On the court, the teams consist of athletes from the special education program at the East Hampton High School and partners from different grades within the school. Partners vary from athletes on the JV and varsity teams to everyday students. Throughout our filming, we found out that partners get just as much out of this experience, if not more, than the athletes themselves. I think I've, I've gained a lot more patience Yeah, patience this. and compassion. Yeah. Yeah. How, uh, how you know, rewarding is it compared to maybe playing in a regular sports league or gym class, how, how much, much different? more. It's so much more yeah. like fun and so much more love on the court and like losing that like aggression and competitiveness. It's just like, it makes it like, so much more fun seeing the kids on the field. Yeah, they're just so happy and it's, it's not very competitive, it's just, it's fun. I think that I just learned that I'm really capable of opening up myself to like other kids and kids from other grades. I learned that I need to value every single friendship that I have, which is something that was really important to me that I learned from the time I was in middle school. And coming here really solidified that and taught me how to value everything. Well, it's definitely a little different because instead of just strictly playing, we're also helping the, the other players here get better, which is a little different. But besides that, it's pretty much the same because we're, all, we're just out here playing basketball. Everyone has a love for the game. Continuing with the partners, how important is the Unified Basketball League and for the partners, have you seen maturity growth or any other insights from the partner over the course of you know the last so many weeks and over the year with the inclusion club? Um, tell me a little bit about that. The initial group of kids that come out for it are uh, usually the biggest go-getters, the kids that are involved in APs, the leaders on the sports teams. And it's fantastic having them involved because, as I said already, they're leaders on the field and in the classroom already. But it's, it's so impactful for the students that aren't necessarily leaders who don't have a huge voice or those even that, that get into a little bit of trouble here and there you know seeing what life is like for other people not just you know, not just other people but but your peers mm -hmm. these are community members that are your age the community members that you may have went to elementary school with um yeah the growth just the growth we saw with the partners was was awesome the big maturity piece is the fact that a lot of kids in the high school, it's a me-orientated type of you know, concept as a teenager. To put somebody else first was huge. And it might have taken a couple of days for some, a couple of weeks, and others were able to do it right away. So putting the interest and the concern of somebody else in front of you the entire time is the biggest maturity thing you're gonna see. And now, you know, when you're in the halls, they go out of their way to say hi, and they go out of their way to give a high five or, you know, good luck. So it's a great change perception-wise. You know, when they're in the gym and they're practicing for inclusion, they're focused on that. Um, we've done other games besides just basketball with them, and they're able to reintroduce themselves, make sure that they know who they, what their names are. Um, they're giving a huge effort to make somebody else feel super important, and they have completely succeeded as that. 
and that's huge for high school students. I myself attended East Hampton High School, and one of the greatest moments of my tenure was having the opportunity to play on the same varsity volleyball team as my older brother while I was a sophomore and he was a senior. Daniel and Sean Lester finally had that opportunity with the Unified Basketball League. I caught up with Daniel and did a mini deep dive into his relationship with his younger brother, Sean. Well, growing up, not much. The only thing that was a little bit different was, well, as we grew up, I noticed how, I didn't really see a difference in Sean, but as we grew up, I noticed how he was not, eight, like, advancing. Like, me and my cousins, we would all play, and Sean wouldn't be as fast as us. He couldn't keep up with us. That was the only real difference, but now that he's grown up and he's in high school now, he's getting a lot better with that, and um, it's pretty, really cool to see how he's grown. Explain kind of a little bit about being able to play on the same team as your brother. I'm sure it's been a while since you've been able to do that. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that experience. It's really awesome because um, every day after school we would go out and play basketball in the summer. We'd swim in the pool, we'd do whatever, we'd hang out, we'd play basketball. And just him, he always, he always comes up to me after school. You want to go play basketball with me? And most of the time I'll tell him I can't because I'm tired because I just got home from football or baseball. But nine times out of ten, we go outside, we shoot hoops for a bit. And sometimes I let him win, sometimes I'll win. And then it's just, it's really cool to finally get to play on an actual team with him because we've been playing together for so long. And I really like playing on the court with him. All my aunts and uncles, and because my mom's got a really big family, she has ten sisters and six brothers. So, like, they all have kids. And they've all seen their kids grow up, and they've seen how I've grown up with Sean, and they see how it's changed me as a person. It's, they think it's made me a better person. I honestly think that I would not be the person I am today if it was not for Sean. When we think about high school sports, we think about our glory days, and at least for the average person, the peak of our athletic careers, the good, the bad, the ugly, the learning how to cooperate and work with teammates, the Unified Basketball League represents something bigger than winning and losing, but equality across the board. Whether it's player introductions and the national anthem being played before the game. The basketball team start us up with number 40, Sean Lesser. Number 55, Austin Miller. Number 30, Liam Bow. Number 54, Nicole Verdugo. Number 51, Dominic Cornell. Or having the exact same referees as I did when I played JV basketball. These athletes were able to achieve the same athletic experience as their fellow peers do. And that that's a slam dunk. I asked the partners this next question, and um, okay, so if a, if a new incoming freshman comes, what would be your pitch to not only join the inclusion club, but also to be a partner in the unified sports, whether it's bowling or basketball or future things? A big part of the pitch is exposing students to opportunities they haven't had before. Um, it's something, uh, you know, a little personal about me as a special ed teacher and, you know, a sports coach. I was not mature enough to understand or, or know how to work with my uniquely abled students when I was in middle school. I remember having a hard time pairing up with uh, one particular student that was in my group with the level of work that they were doing, and I wasn't given enough guidance on how to handle that, how to work with that, how to grow from that. And it, it, it really just came from the lack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously now that, you know, I've been exposed more and I've, you know, been educated, I've been trained, you know, this is what wants to be my life work. And it, it's incredible. Uh, you know, you, you don't know how you feel after, you know, an appropriate amount of exp uh, exposure to something, you know, I. It's going to start off maybe a little scary, a little mm -hmm. intimidating, anything like that. But you know, these kids are filled with love. You know, 
know, they just, all they want to do is be happy, meet people, and, you know, share the love that they have in their hearts, which is just, it's incredible. You know? I think part of the pitch is starting with the community service piece, or having everyone talk about it, like after the basketball games yeah. at home, everyone started talking about it. So the kids yeah. are like curious why. Um, we did a big announcement on all their names. Everyone was curious who they were. So you get this like questioning, what's going on? What is this all about? And then you try to bring them into it and show them that there's something bigger than them out there right now. Tell me a little bit. Do you like playing on the basketball team? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite part? Oh, about dribbling. Yeah? Dan wants to help me do defense. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And uh, tell me a little bit about What's your favorite part with all your partners and your teammates? Oh, Daniel's my teammate, so he can help me do defense. Your teammates help you out? Yeah. Daniel is my sweet brother. He picks me up every time. Hmm. And what about these guys? Oh, these guys are perfect. Hmm. They're nice and cool. Lola's beautiful. Noel's handsome. Robbie's handsome. And Mr. Mitchell's handsome. Wait, what? Ahmed. Ahmed is handsome. What are the next steps slash ultimate goal for Unified Sports here? Is it to host special Olympic events here? Is it to have year-round Unified uh, Sports Leagues? Tell me a little bit about how we can progress this. Yeah, I mean, everything you just said, yeah. um, my definitely ultimate goal, uh, well, uh, short long-term goal is to host Special Olympics. And they, what's cool about it is that they allow you to host it or they make you host it two years in a row. That way, you know, you, you take a year kind of getting into it and then that second year you really get to let it flourish. Uh, their unified sports in Suffolk County in section 11. There is unified uh, section sanctioned unified middle bowling for the winter and as we just saw section sanctioned unified baseball in the spring. There is no section sanctioned unified sports in the fall but we connected um, this past fall with uh, Coach Tinnerty over at Southampton. Um, the Hampton Bay's life skills and the West Hampton life skills. We had a little four team for school uh, unified soccer day, which was awesome. We got to do two different levels of skill work where they did some dribbling drills, passing drills, shooting drills. Um, so, and then we got to play actual games. So we really got to highlight each athlete's abilities and then challenge them based on their levels with those abilities. Um, but we have Inclusion Rec Club that meets on Wednesdays uh, after school every week. Uh, we just had our last day now that school's ending up. Um, that is more board game socialization oriented, um, of course, with op opportunities to do anything else they didn't like to do. But generally, we've been playing board games during that and I'm working on bringing Best Buddies, which mm -hmm. is essentially the Inclusion Rec Club for um, post high school as well. So it's not just closed off to uh, our students or, or East Hampton High School students specifically, it's available to once they graduate, they have a place where we meet as a community to do this, to, to do this, uh, the same things we're just doing, all the unified and inclusiveness. Ah, Sean, Dom, Liam, Nicole, Austin, I, it's been an incredible season. I cannot wait to have our next season together. Um, the amount of growth you guys have shown emotionally, physically, athletically, has been tremendous. I hope you are super grateful for all the partners we had coming out to help you out, to play with you, and to assist you. Uh, I hope you continue high five them the whole way. I think you five were amazing. Uh, you know, Liam, you dribbling the ball down, taking your shots, Nicole's first basket in a game <laughs> in the first quarter. You know, Austin running up being the big man on the knee. Dominic never stopping and running, and then Sean with the last basket of the season. I mean, it was just overwhelming and amazing. You guys did such a great job. I'm totally looking forward to next year. You give me chills. The joy I received from this experience and team, it's indescribable. It's one of those things you have to see and feel in person. Each time I left the high school, I left with a huge smile on my face and with a sense of gratitude and appreciation to the coaches and everyone involved with this team. Seeing the athletes on both teams cheering and high-fiving each other is a poignant reminder of how unserious sports actually is. Uh, hey, that, uh. My challenge to you, the viewer at home, is an invitation to watch these amazing athletes live, whether it's in the fall with future events or next year during the unified basketball season. Because you'll see moments like this. Sean Lester, 
hitting the game-tying two-point shot as time expired with an assist from his big brother, Daniel.